In this video, we will learn how to make tax invoice for the export of goods in Tally Prime. There are two types of export invoices. One is export with payment of GST and the other is export without payment of GST. In this video, we are going to make tax invoice with payment of GST. So let's make this invoice. For this, we will go to watchers. Suppose the invoice date is 2nd February 2025. We will press F2. Now we will fill the date here. Invoice numbering is automatic here. Invoice number is 4. If you want any reference number for this invoice, we can fill it here. Otherwise, we can leave it blank. Uh, we have already created the party. Let's see how the party is created for export invoices. For this, we will press Ctrl Enter. In name, it's ABCD INC. So we have written ABCD INC. We have to select Sunday Daters here from this drop down list. It's already Sunday Daters. If you want to maintain balances with my will, then we can keep it yes, or otherwise, we can select no here. Default credit period. In our case, it's not required. Check for credit days during voucher entry. I will keep it no. Uh, we have to fill address here. The party is from United Kingdom. You will not see region here by default. If I change country and press India, you will see something like this. We have to fill country here. So in our case, it's UK. So I have selected UK. After selecting this, you can see state has been replaced by region. So in region, we have to fill the region of UK. So in our case, it's Wales. So I have selected Wales here. We have to fill pin code here. I am leaving this blank. We can fill PAN number here. Uh, in, in registration type, we have to select unknown. Now press enter and we have to accept it. Press enter key to accept it. Now party ledger has been created. If you want to fill any of these details, we can fill. Otherwise accept this screen. Now we can see the party details. We can see buyer name and address details as we have entered in the ledger creation screen. Now press enter. Uh, place of supply will be not applicable. We have to press enter key. We are making this tax invoice for the export of goods. So we have to change the mode of this sales watcher. For that we have to press control H key. Now we will change this mode. Now you can see the quantity column here. And now we have to press enter enter key again or we can press Ctrl A to save these details. Now we have to select sales ledger. We can't select interstate sales or local sales. These are used for domestic sales only. For an international sale, we have to select this export ledger. Let's see how we should create export ledger. If we haven't prepared these exports, then we should press Ctrl C to create a new watcher. I've already made this watcher. So let's see how we make this watcher. In name we will fill exports. Uh, in under we will select sales accounts. Type of ledger will be not applicable. Including accessible value calculation will be not applicable. In GST applicability we have to select applicable. In HSN and related details we have to select as per company group. In GST rate and related details. We have to select as per company group also. Type of supply will be goods because we are making export invoice for the sale of goods to the foreign client. So we will select goods here and we have to press enter key. Now we have to accept this by pressing enter. So exports ledger has been made. Now we will select item here. If we are selling item A, then we will select item A from this drop down list. So I have selected item A. Let's see how we should make item ledger. You have to press Alt C key. You have to type the item name. In our case, it's item A. In under, we will select primary. In GST applicability, you have to select applicable. In HSN and SAC details, you have to select specify details here. You have to fill the HSN number of this item. And now in GST rate details, we have to select specify details here and in taxability type we will select taxable here you have to fill gst rate here 
for our case it's 18 percent so we have filled 18 here and now press enter uh, in type of supply it will be goods accept this item creation screen let's suppose 500 units of item a is being exported to abcd inc so we will fill 500 here let's suppose the item rate is 120 so we will keep 120 here and now let's press enter if you want to include any other item we can include here in our case only item a is being exported so we will press enter key again now we have to select igst ledger here so we will select igst now we can see that 10800 has been automatically computed here it is 18 percent of 60,000. now let's see how we have to create igst ledger for this purpose we have to press alt c here and we have to type igst now press enter in under we have to select the duties and taxes and uh, we have to select gst here under duties and taxes you will see gst only if you have enabled gst in f11 settings let's see how we enable gst for this we have to press f11 key and under taxes and you will see enable goods and services tax if you have not enabled gst yet and you will see no here so then you have to select yes here and uh, fill the gst number and set periodicity of gst or monthly or quarterly so let's come back to this entry in tax type we have to select igst we have enabled payroll so you are seeing this option if you have not enabled payroll then you will not see this option here in rounding method you have to select not applicable if you haven't enabled tds then you will not see this so we will keep it undefined and press enter enter key to accept this voucher now we will press enter and in provide gst details we will select yes if you want you can provide shipping bill details here let's press enter enter key and press enter key If you want to provide narration you can also provide narration here now to accept this voucher we have to press enter key so our export invoice has been made to see this export invoice press page up button so let's see the preview for that we will press ctrl key we will go to preview to zoom it we will press alt z key under tax invoice it is clearly written that supply mint for export so our tax invoice for the export of goods with IGST has been made. So in this video you have learned how to make tax invoice for the export of goods in Tally Prime with payment of tax. For more such videos don't forget to subscribe this channel.